and thank you for joining us for the very first Jasper Guitar Frets and Friends uh, video series. In this video series, we're taking some of the most amazing guitar players we know and pairing them up with our Jasper Mana, which he's holding, um, and seeing his first impressions. So this time we have Woody Larson from the Valley. Thanks for having me. Not only is he a session guitarist, he's also a recording engineer, and he's basically the first call anyone makes when they need a session guitarist, so he can really play. Um, so why don't you tell us, Woody, what you're playing the Mana ST through today? Uh, so I've got the Mana today. I'm just running through a, a, a small selection of pedals. We're getting the main overdrive tone from the uh, Gristle King by Tim Yarnig from Stevens Point. That is going into my Source Audio Collider for some delay and light reverb. And then that's going into the front end of my 1962 Tweed Harvard. Beautiful. So as a recording artist and session musician, not only are you doing both, but you're amazing at both, <laughs> from what I've heard. Thank you. Um, what are some important characteristics of a guitar that you're looking for? Yeah, um, I think the, the most important thing any guitar has to do in a studio environment is to stay in tune. Um, proper setups help, obviously, but um, you know it has to, from from any chord position. I have to be able to be in tune. Um, a lot of times you're throwing a capo on, you know, in, in some of the frets, and with other guitars sometimes that means an open chord voicing might be out of tune, sure. just from the intonation being off. So being properly intonated and being able to stay in tune, I think, are the the two most important things. Um, beyond that, I think uh, being able to quickly make a, a, an impression, make a splash. Um, sometimes th you know, the artist or the producer in the room might not exactly know how to articulate whether they like a part or don't like a part, or maybe they're just protecting my feelings. Huh. Um, but you know, so sometimes you just have to read the room and decide to go a completely different direction. So being able to do that, having that you know, um, versatility is important sure. as well. Absolutely. So as a session guitarist, um, you've probably played tens of hundreds of guitars yeah, in your day. Lots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what makes a guitar stand out to you? What makes a guitar stand out, uh, I think design, uh, how the design complements the, the, the form of the guitar. A guitar has to play well. I mean, you know, it has to fit in the hand and feel good. But how you can tuck in really nice visual design cues into that function, I think, is, is what makes a guitar special. And then there's always that, you know, mysterious mojo that some guitars just have. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. And I, it's hard to quantify that. If you could, you'd be wealthier than just about anyone. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, what was your first impressions of the Mana ST you're holding? Uh, so the first impressions, uh, I love the color. I'm a big Pelham Blue fan. And Aren't we all? Any, yeah, exactly. Any sparkle, any blues, any purples, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, when I first grabbed the guitar, the first thing I noticed was the neck. Um, I'm a big fan of guitars from the 50s, and a lot of them have big old necks. Big necks, yeah, exactly. So uh, a lot of manufacturers can be seem to be afraid of that, and I don't understand that. I I don't have huge hands. I guess they're normal size, but I want a, a solid. You know, I like the 58s. Uh, oh, 58, definitely. Uh, 57 V, even something like that. But having something with a little bit of girth to it fits in the hand, keeps you from being fatigued when you play for a long time. No, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 